So boom, I'm sitting in the car. He talking to me, um, I'm smelling his breath. His breath was not smelling the freshest. He was gonna have this to date me or something because I wasn't going for that. I said, the butt like. <laughs> Hi, Tiggy Wings, how are we doing today? Hopefully we are doing absolutely a mother freaking amazing you guys. I know I took a week off um, last week and I was not posting. Last week was one hell of a week, but like, it's okay. I'm back now and I promise we're gonna be consistent. I am so sorry. This is Monday's video. At the time I'm recording this, it is Easter. So happy Easter to you guys. Um, happy belated Easter. Tell me how your April Fool's is going, something like that. Hope it's going well, cause you know, it's the first of the month. I know as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is a very, 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 very embarrassing story time. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Not only just for me, but for my ex. But <laughs> before we get to the video, cause I know y'all, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know y'all wanna hear the tea. I know you wanna hear the embarrassing story. Just. Please, 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 please go ahead and give me a like on this video because I know you guys are like gonna like this story time. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you guys can see my things every Monday and every Friday. And go ahead and um, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this situation. And tell me how your April Fool's and Easter is going or has gone. My socials will be in the description down below. So go ahead and check up with me Instagram, Twitter, and TikToks. I promise I post on there too, not just YouTube. Let's go ahead and get into this ditty joke. Okay. This story time happened last year during the summer. Okay, now I have a very bad habit of excusing the things that I've done. And like, if something happens during the summer, I'm gonna just try just to the game and be like, oh, well, it happened during the summer. Because the summer Maya is like, girl, because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, when it turns, when it starts to get hot outside, and like, because you know, I'm young, I'm pretty, and, and, the, and, the, and the niggas is out, I ain't gonna. I just throw my hands up and I'll be like, well, if it was the summertime, you know what I'm saying? Last year during the summertime, I had a boyfriend. I would never, ever, 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 ever get a boyfriend during the summertime. Now, if I get a boyfriend like after the summer, like August, September time, and we make it to the next summer, I'm gonna be okay with that, you know what I'm saying? But like going into the summer, that's when I had um my ex-boyfriend. And I never because like I'm not gonna say that was my worst relationship ever, but it was it's it's definitely on the list, y'all. It's definitely on the list of, like, one of my terrible relationships. Like, and I haven't even had that many relationships because I like being single. Now, if y'all, y'all probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, she like being single. She probably a hoe, this, that, and the third. No, I just like to have fun. Fun and just not be committed to nobody because why? After that relationship, I promise y'all, I have not gotten into another relationship. Ever since I broke up with my last boyfriend, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I'm not looking for a dude to, like, satisfy me for real. I'm not looking for none of that. I just like to be by myself, okay? And if I want to flirt with you, I'm going to flirt with you with no strings attached. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me put on my lip gloss because y'all know, y'all know, you know what I'm saying, how your girl is about her lip gloss. Whew! We're gonna take the, we gonna take this thing back. We're gonna rewind. We're gonna take this thing back. Now I have told a story about him before. It's gonna be in the annotation of when he said that he was gonna do some things to my house and stuff. Like he told me that he was gonna blow my house down. He said, if y'all wanna hear that story time, it is gonna be linked above. But that's the boyfriend that we're talking about. I forgot what I named him, but like, damn, I forgot what I named him. But y'all know who I'm talking about, right? For the purpose of this video, because I'm not going to go look and see what I named him, we just going to call him boyfriend, okay? We're going to call him boyfriend. I already know, I got into a relationship with him, because I, I told it in the first story. I got into a relationship with him, um, like, I got into a relationship with him, like, I think April or March, like, one of those months. I, I got into a relationship with him coming into the summer, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, we got into a relationship, and it was all cool and stuff like that. But I noticed that, like, oh, my God. Like, when we first started talking, I had to grow to like him. Damn. So, like, I really had to grow to, like, like him and, you know what I'm saying, make him become my boyfriend. He told me, he was like, I don't really do friends. Like, it's either we gonna be in a relationship or we not. So I was like, I said YOLO. I was like, YOLO, F-A, you know what I'm saying? Sure, let's just see where it goes. I would never do that again. Look, oh girl, girl. I take every relationship that I've ever been in as a lesson. And that lesson, I mean, that relationship was a clear lesson to like, don't do that. Cause if you don't like that man for real, let him go, let him go on his way now. Cause we were not good for each other. Okay, we're really not good for him. I'm a Virgo, he's a Sagittarius. And I don't mean to bring, you know what I'm saying? 
signs. I think that's what it's called. Everybody's not really into the whole zodiac sign thing and they really don't believe in that stuff. But like, Virgo and Sagittarius, I don't think they gonna match. For yeah, so that's where we, that's where we, that's where we was really at. Like, I did some terrible things in a relationship. I never cheated. I never cheated on him. But I did some very bad things. I said some very bad things in a relationship. He said some very bad things in a relationship and did some bad things in a relationship. So, like, we just really wasn't good for each other, y'all. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even trying to bash him if he ever sees this video. We just weren't good for each other. And I'm, cause I'm giving y'all backstory. I'm telling y'all this for a reason. I'm giving y'all a little backstory because I have at least, like, a couple more story times with him it, it gets worse so boom we got into a relationship march april-ish and a couple months after we got into a relationship i was going to go see him you know what i'm saying yeah he was my boyfriend type type things you know what i'm saying i feel like one of the main reasons why our relationship did not last was because my mom has a lock on me and like my mom knows like every time summer comes around her daughter starts acting up okay because last summer i had a car right i mean i don't have a car now but i'm getting a car. don't like don't get too comfortable with this whole no car thing like it's grind season so once i get, once summer comes once may come around and y'all i get my new car oh vlog city i'm gonna be vlogging going to parties pool parties this that and that like i don't but Last year, last summertime, I had a car. Her name is Bernice. Y'all already know Bernice, okay? Well, me and Bernice, we was locked in, girl, because I was doing all my missions with Bernice, y'all. I was doing my missions with Bernice. Like, she was down for the kid because, y'all, I was doing I was doing missions, honey. My mom, during the summertime, she already knows how her daughter gets, and she really don't like me being outside during the summertime, which is cool crazy because what what you mean you don't like me being a girl <laughs> so she knew i had a boyfriend she knew yeah she knew i had a boyfriend but like she didn't like she did not like him she didn't want me to spend time with him yeah she saw a picture of him and was like this who you dating like she did not like him damn this gonna sound so bad but like my mom just did not like him from when she first saw him she knew like, first of all, he was not my type. She knew he wasn't my type. My type is tall, athletic, big lips, nice smile, and you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. The dude, he was like my height, kind of like a little bit taller than me. He had dreads, and it's, it's, it's not about the hairstyle, you know? He had dreads, because he was on the bigger side, you know? or um and she just saw that he was just really not he she was like he was he's not even your type like what are you doing with him and i was like mom like i'm just you know we're just going with the flow type things my mom just really did not like him she knew that we weren't gonna last she knew that this was not gonna be my man for months and years and she told me she was like girl he literally like he just wants to like not waste your time, but like y'all are basically wasting time together. I mean, uh, we was already together, so I was like, mom, like this is my man. Like, back up, because this is my man. And I feel like the real reason why, the only reason why my mom did not like him, like what solidified it for her was because she called me at his house one time. Now that is definitely gonna be another story time if you guys want it. If y'all want if y'all want the story time, she called me at his house. And when I tell you it was a wrap. It, after that, I really had to like start sneaking 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 to go with him because like my mom was not for it after she caught me at that dude's house it was a wrap she was like she didn't make me break up with him but she was like you cannot go see him no more so whatever happens to the relationship i don't care oh well not let me go so to this day she does not let me go to people's house she does not want me going to people's house she don't like that <clears throat> now that y'all have like a little bit of backstory and how we can get into the actual story so y'all already know my mom does not like him she don't want me seeing him and i had to sneak around to go see him mom if you're ever watching this story time i am sorry <laughs> your daughter is sorry okay let's get into the story time like i said me and my boyfriend really we have to like start sneaking around to see each other okay he had his mom's car I had my car, Bernice. So, um, after my mom had caught me at his house or whatever, she was like, <sighs> cutting it off. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You're not going to see it. So, 
the only way I could really get out the house was if I was going to work. So when I would go to work, I would maybe leave like an hour or two early just to go to his house and see him. Or we would meet up at a store or we would like, you know what I'm saying? We would just meet up there, but I couldn't stay for long. You know what I'm saying? I always have to go to work or I would always have to go home. Like we couldn't just like spend the entire day together because my mom did not freaking like him. No. It was this one particular night, okay? I was working at a mall, okay? Because that was my that was my first job. My first job was a retail store. And girl, I got countless of stories from my retail store, girl. Like, oh my God. I was cool with every employee there. But they all, like, had their flaws. And I even had my flaws, too. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, I was the princess. Like, no. We all had our flaws. But, like, some, some of the people that they hired and fired, girl... I got stories for days on that job, but I still love that job. That job was like, that job was like, that job has my heart because it was my first job and it was my first ghetto job. I was working at this retail store at the mall and it was one night that he just really wanted to see me. So he had his mom's car because mind you, he, boyfriend, he could, he could do whatever he want, honey. He could leave his house at all types of the night, like... He could do whatever he wanted to, but me, <laughs> he had took his mom's car. Can I go to the movies with him? No. Can I go to the mall with him? No. Can I go out to eat with him? No. No, you cannot. Like, so boom, we would do this thing where we would just sneak around and just really try to see each other. So, it came this one night, like I said, um, he had his mom's car and... <laughs> He was texting me. It was like 9.30-ish. Mind you, I'm still, this, the mall is closed. Everybody's at the store. But he's texting me like, hey, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to see you type stuff like that. So I was like, all right, cool. Bet it up. So 9.50 comes around and like that's when I was done cleaning up the store and everybody was going to leave. Now, nobody was staying later, but everybody was leaving at 10 o'clock. Me and my closing um co-workers we were all leaving at 10 o'clock so once 10 o'clock hit we was out that stuff all right we went out to the store everybody was in the parking lot everybody got in their cars everybody left okay but me so he has this thing where he would park so far from the door and it would just blow me because like why are you parking so far like why do i have to walk so far to your car but like okay whatever so i walked to his car i got in the passenger side seat and i'm just sitting there and i'm like hey like how are you and he was like what's up now immediately when he started talking to me he his eyes was low and he was smiling so i already knew i already knew that that man was with wiz khalifa and snoop dogg if y'all get my drip okay that man was high immediately after i noticed that his eyes were low and he was smiling at me i immediately smelled something <laughs> Okay, I started smelling something, y'all. I, oh my God. And I knew it wasn't me. Okay, I kept gum in my purse. I think I was even smacking on some gum then. At the time, it was like 9.30ish, right? So we would do this thing where he would like come to my job and we, I would just sit in his car or his mom's car and we would just like talk and catch up and just really try to see each other because my mom was not going for it. But he was talking and as he was talking, y'all, I just kept smelling it. Brother, and it wasn't even like a, a smell that I can must. It stunk bad. Like, oh. Mind you, it's like 10, 10, 15 ish, right? Y'all, oh my God. Normally, 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 normally. Because it takes like 20 minutes to get to my house, right? So at like 10 30 ish, every time we would go do this, like every time we would pull up on me to like see me after I got off of work, my mom, after like the 30 minute mark, my mom would be blowing my mom would be blowing my phone up with where are you um set your location come home da, 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 da. like she'll be blowing my phone up just like that but like i don't know what it was this night but y'all go see y'all i'm sitting in the car he talking to me um i'm smelling his breath his breath was not smelling the freshest but we had when we got some food and after we got some food we went back to the parking lot mind you it's literally only his car and my car in the parking lot like it's the dead of night. It's only two cars in the parking lot. And I'm just praying that, like, we don't get caught by some police officers. Or, hell, even my mama. Because my mama, girl, my mama will pull up on me in a millisecond. It don't matter. Like, at, at 
this point, I am so paranoid. Like, I don't want my car to get a ticket or something like that. And I don't want, I just don't want to get caught. You know what I'm saying with him? Boom. We go back to the parking lot. And we sit up there, we eating our food, all this other, all this other, y'all. Oh my gosh. After we ate our food, after we ate our food and we chilling and stuff like that, y'all. Why? I should have said something. I really should have said something because it was so, it's so nasty even just thinking about it now. Why did we start kissing? We started kissing, y'all. Mind you, his birth is on 11. Oh my gosh. We started kissing. And I wasn't even trying to kiss him for real, y'all. I was just like, like, um, we started kissing. Uh, he tried to put his tongue in my mouth. And I, <laughs> but you're not putting your fucking tongue in my mouth. Girl, you was gonna have to date me or something because I wasn't going for that. I said, like, the fuck? You're not, we're not tongue kissing at all, at all. But then, after he realized that I wasn't going for the tongue kissing, y'all, why he started kissing down my neck? <laughs> he started kissing down my neck. And I was just like, Ooh, yeah. After that, I was like, we cannot let this go any further because we cannot let this go any type. I wasn't going for it. I was not trying to go for it at all. Um, I wasn't going to let this go any further because he was trying to like take off my shirt and start kissing my breast. I wasn't going for it. Like, mind you, at this time, it was like 10, 10 45 ish. I had to fake like my mom was like texting me and blowing my phone up. Mind you, I don't know if she was like taking a chill pill or she was sleeping or something like that, but she was not blowing up my phone at all. I really could have stayed out like till I want to say like 11:30 with him, but like no, yeah, I had to really get I had to get out of this embarrassing situation. I did not like this at all. So I had to fake like my mom was texting me and I was like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> he was like what, is your mom texting you? I was like, yeah, my mom texted me. Like, she want me to come home. Da -da -da -da. My mom was not giving a f What? She did not care. He drove me to my car. Y'all, he was blue. But he drove me to my car. I had, oh my gosh, I gave him a final kiss. Kiss. And then I got out my car. I, I mean, I got out his car and then I got into my car. And like, we just like sped off going our separate ways. So, as we're on the way, well, as I'm on the way home, I call my best friend because, like, I have to talk to somebody about this. Like, I have to talk to somebody about this. Like, I have to get a secondary, secondhand opinion on if I should tell him that his breath was kicking or just, like, not embarrass him, like, at all like that. I call my best friend. <clears throat> I'm talking to my best friend. I'm like, best friend, X, Y, and Z just happened. X, Y, and Z just happened. And he's like best friend if you don't tell him that his breath stunk like what did you sit up here try to beat around the bush for tell him that his breath stinks so that it won't happen again like tell him so that it won't happen again so i was like okay cool so mind you i'm getting home at like 11 15 11 15 11 20 ish y'all when i get when i got home i have to walk past my mom's room in order to go to my room so <laughs> i was walking right i was walking i walked upstairs my mom immediately she called me to her room where was you at and i was like oh i had to stay um behind because the store manager is coming in tomorrow we had to clean up the the store which it wasn't a lot like we did have to clean up the store because the store manager was coming tomorrow but like i just didn't i just didn't take all that time to clean the store i was doing something with my man but she didn't know that though i mean I, i'm pretty sure she had an idea but like she didn't know that though <laughs> i didn't tell her so yeah so i'm telling her like yeah you know we had to um clean up the store and stuff and we that's why we had to stay an extra hour she was like i guess she didn't feel like dealing with me that night she was like you're such a bad fucking liar <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice i'm 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 gonna take a bleach bath anyways you don't have to tell me twice to get out your room miss man i ain't even want to be in here for real so y'all i get out of her room i go to my room oh my gosh my best friend is telling me like best friend tell him that his breath stunk so like it, this won't happen again so i text him right mind you he had to go to work too so um because he used to work at like he used to work at like some warehouse right so boom i text him and i'm like hey i'm sorry that my mom interrupted us and he was like nah it's cool and i was like yeah <laughs> i think i just told him that his breath stunk i was like 
Yeah, um, but I really wasn't trying to kiss you tonight either because your breath was hot. That's the, I, that's exactly what I said. I said your breath was hot. And he, oh my gosh, I think I really embarrassed him because after I said that, y'all, he was like, oh, okay, good night. He just shut the conversation down just like that. I think I blew his eye. I'm so sorry. But like, I didn't want to tell him that, but look. I mean, it worked because after that, like, I, I was, he, he didn't come around me no more with his breath stuck, stinking. So, I mean, hell, I, I think it worked, y'all. I think it worked, but, um, yeah, many, many, many story times about boyfriend. Um, if I, I'm going to find out his name, what I named him in the last story time. Like I said, it's going to be up here in the annotation, so go ahead and watch the first story time about him. But if you guys like the story time, go ahead and like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys can see my face every Monday and every Friday. Go ahead and comment down below so we try to think about the situation. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!